Sum African football writer and Seth Mutie, former Kenyan international, of course, speaking to us from Nairobi, is the alumni of Starry Boy Center. We have to mention that as well. Of course, good to speak to you, gentlemen. Let's start with Bonfas Osano. Sorry, apologies, Sorry, apologies for, for the technical, the technical Osano. Osano. You are talking to us talking. about uh, what might have informed you to contest for this particular seat. Kindly please proceed. Yes, sir. As, as, as I said, uh, writing about football has given me an opportunity to see uh, and can create deeply and see uh, some of the challenges that we've been having, for example, uh, governance issues that we've And I feel that uh, instead of just sitting back and uh, uh, criticizing every day and, and and writing about the things you see that should be done uh, in a better way, then why not just go in there and do it yourself? So I feel that uh, with my experience, uh, different tournaments and just the, the local game. I think I've seen uh, and I feel that I've identified uh, the, the problems uh, that we are having in our football that uh, needs to be fixed. And I think uh, as somebody who is fresh and uh, coming into the system, uh, I think uh, I don't have the baggage of, 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 of having been in the system or of being part of the, the system that we've had in the past. So I'm coming with a clean hand and offering a, a solid vision on what I feel uh, should be done to improve our football. Wow, good to hear that. So now over to you. We've seen uh, footballers uh, being pressured to go into football management. Didier Drogba, the Ivory Coast legend, and he also featured overseas for, uh, you know, uh, in French League One and uh, uh, notably in Chelsea and won medals with them. His bid has been rejected by footballers themselves. Can we say footballers are enemies of themselves now that you've played football for some clubs locally for the national team, Arambe Stars? Do you think, are you looking forward uh, uh, breaking that narrative that footballers can't support their very own? Uh, no, no, that one is an isolated case. Every person has their own story to tell. That was Drogba's story. We know about uh, George Ware. King George Ware has another story to tell. And we have many other footballers who have taken very good care of the federations. Kalusha Gwalia has performed very well. And uh, there are very, very many examples. Everybody has their own story to tell. Uh, in Kenya, I would say football has been uh, hijacked by non-footballers for a very long time. And uh, when I saw... Uh, Nick Mwenda was coming in, I thought maybe he would bring in the change that is needed because he's a young tack. But unfortunately, he also failed. And uh, because of that, that is why I decided now I want to bring football back to footballers and I want to bring in a new management style. I will uh, rip off all those uh, uh, policies. I will rip off all those structures. In fact, they are makeshift structures. They are, not, they are non-existent structures. And uh, Nick Wendwa has been riding behind corporate companies who have been helping him with the uh, Chapa Dimba and the other ones and this base, all debates and all these other ones. But for me, I will draw up a structure right from the grassroots up to the top league. And uh, before I give my friend a chance to speak, let me say this. All the monies have been poured up there in the, at the Kenya Premier League. And people have been forgetting that the talent comes from the grassroots. We should pour all that money down there at the grassroots so that by the time we have nurtured that talent and exposed it, out there, at the, our Kenya Premier League will be very, very competitive, such that everybody from all over Africa and outside will want to come and play in our Kenya Premier League. And our national teams will be very, very strong such that we will not be just being knocked out at the stages for qualifiers of the Africa Cup of Nations or, or the World Cups. Football, back to footballers. Uh, what your agenda revolves around. We've seen the likes of Dan Shikanda rising to the helm of football management. Is the chairman of FC Leopards, played for both clubs, Gore and FC and national team as well. How has your candidacy been embraced by, you know, footballers? Have they taken it positive? Are they ready to support your bid? Ready to support my bid. They are very excited, they are very happy. But they have reminded me uh, that uh, I should keep in mind that uh, football, uh, there is also a political angle and that politics is very dirty. And uh, I should uh, work very, very hard with uh, those people that uh, 
have interests of football at heart. And I should know that uh, there are very many people who are now in charge of football in the branches and many of them delegates who uh, do not have interest of football at heart and they are just thinking about their stomach, sorry to say. So I, I should use different uh, ways and means to try and tackle that problem. And uh, I have addressed that problem. And in my manifesto, you will see that uh, I have come up with something very, very new, something that has never been presented before by any of the chairman or FKF presidents. Osano, now over to you. you. Most widely, you know, just for the uh, sake and your love and passion for football, you are in Egypt just to support the national team, Arambe Stars, uh, participating in African Cup of Nations. What do you have in store in case you get elected the president of FKF? Uh, first of all, let me just say that when it comes to football management and playing the game, those are two different things. And uh, as Muichi has said, uh, we've seen a form of footballers who've done well uh, in, the, in managing the game. We've also seen others who have uh, failed miserable. Most of them have ended up with uh, getting paper bans. Uh, but we've also seen uh, people you'd call uh, outsiders coming in and just because of the passion they have and the experience they have in, man in management, they've done well. Uh, just next door, uh, neighbor here, we have got uh, engineer, uh, Moses Magogo is an electrical engineer and he's done a lot to really improve and put uh, Ugandan football where uh, it is. Uh, back to what uh, I'm thinking of doing or I plan to do for the Kenyan game, I think uh, let's be factual. Uh, one big problem we have in uh, our football is lack of funding. Uh, we are always talking about lack of money here when uh, the Rambe Stars is going out, the, the women's team are always uh, uh, begging the government to come and uh, help us. So uh, to me, I think uh, if we want to implement the programs that are going to uh, build our football right from the grassroots, then we have to look critically at the issue of, uh, of funding. Uh, and, and, and how do I intend to do this? Uh, one, 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 one way to really uh, attract, uh, attract uh, support and, and funding in the game is to ensure that there's, a, uh, that there's a sound management. A governance issue must really tackle it uh, because uh, uh, as you've heard, there are guys who are coming to football, not because of uh, the interest they have in it, but just to, uh, for, for, for self-seeking uh, purposes. But if you have uh, sound management and, and, and in, uh, in place, and that means that you're going to hire a professionals to come and do the job for you, uh, issues of, of, of branding or marketing, and just commercialization of the properties that you have. Because, uh, for example, the Arambia size is a very big uh, property. I, I remember back then when... Uh, like so much, I was still playing. Uh, Arambe Stars was such a big brand, and everybody just wanted to coalesce around it. Uh, and we had a match uh, uh, the, the whole day, I think from morning to evening, for just talking about uh, the Arambe Stars. So th that's where we really need to, 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 to go back to. And to achieve that, you have to, uh, you, have, you need some management, you have professionals coming on board to, uh, to, to help you uh, uh, see how to brand and, and, and sell yourself to, 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 uh, to partners out there. So that's one critical area that uh, I'm thinking of. Funding is is a, is a, is a, is a major a major issue. A second one is, is is partnerships. You need to really partner with uh, uh, with the, all the, the corporate stuff there. Uh, you need to bring them on board. But uh, I, I also must state very clearly that uh, in Africa we have a very unique. Uh, uh, continent and in Africa, government support in uh, in, uh, in in sports is is, is critical because you need them to, uh, to 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 build the infrastructure and and all that the legislation you need if you, if you need to have some money. So uh, you you need to have the former players. You have to bring them on board because you need all that goodwill uh, uh, for you to do whatever you want to do. So. Uh, I think that's something uh, that uh, uh, my leadership, uh, if, if, if it comes to pass, then I'll, I'll, I'll see into it that uh, I bring everybody on board, all the partners that we need uh, to, to, put, uh, to put our football to, to where it should be. Muti, of course, you've also indicated to us that uh, football, management football management and politics, and politics go hand, hand in hand. In hand. In How do you seek defying all odds to get elected the president? Because we understand financial muscles is a determining factor as far as who gets elected the president of the federation. We've had Sam Nyamwea and now Nick Mwendo is also seeking re-election. So far, four candidates have declared the interest, two of you included, and uh, the ex-president Nyamwea and the current Nick Mwendo. 
What do you want to do? What is your strategy <laughs> to ensure that you clinch the seat? Well, let me go back to where my brother has said something. He said that uh, funding is a problem. Let me say yes. this. Funding is not a problem. Funding only becomes a problem where the management is lacking. With poor management, there will be no funding. Where the, 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 the management of, of football, the, uh, the sponsors or the corporates or the partners uh, see that uh, there is no transparency and accountability, they think that there is corruption, then they will surely shy off. Let me give you a small example. When I was playing, uh, during my time at Harambe Stars, we had what is known as Harambe Stars Management Board. At that time, Mr. Peter Kenneth was the chairman. We never lacked funds. We never lacked allowances. We never lacked to travel. We never lacked anything. In fact, when Mr. Peter Kenneth, the chairman, left FKF for other duties, he left a lot of money in the accounts of FKF, maybe 10, 11 million. And when he had inherited FKF in the first place, he had inherited a lot of debts. So what I'm saying is this, where there's transparency and accountability, the sponsors will come running to Football Kenya Federation because football is the most followed sport in the whole world. Football gives a ready platform. Football has a very, very large following, which is very, very attractive to corporate companies and to other sponsors. And uh, that is to answer the first question. The second question you asked me, uh, I need financial muscles to uh, clinch that seat. Uh, if you look properly, I need a running match. I don't have a running match. That space there, I've left it for people like Osano, for people like uh, you, Wasike, if you want to run, for people like Mariga, for people like Carol Radul, and anyone who has uh, football at heart, uh, I can give that space so that we can work together to change the face of football in this country. And uh, I also have another plan B where I have other friends and well-wishers who are uh, well and able, who have a few millions in their accounts. And we will go slowly by slowly and we will tell Nick Mwendoa and Nyamwea, please step aside. We want to make a complete overhaul of this Football Kenya Federation. And those election laws which Nick Mwendoa put, we will scrap them off completely. And all those structures non existent, we will put new structures from grassroots all the way to the top. We will pour a lot of money on the grassroots. The money that comes from FIFA should not be used for uh, recurrent expenditure to pay salaries and uh, for running clubs and the other things. That money is supposed to be for development. I will get my money to run the leagues from corporate sponsorship and other partnership. Uh, thank you very much. Osan, over to you now. indicating that he will pick you as his running mate. <laughs> Are you in agreement with that? <laughs> Are you ready to be his running mate? Just like he's mentioned your name amongst other uh, names that uh, you can be his running mate, his deputy for FKF presidency. No, for me, it's not just about the position or the politics. No, uh, I'm offering something that uh, I believe uh, can change uh, the, the uh, the, the way we've been doing things in, in, in our football. And just to go back a little bit on the issue of funding, I, I want to be very clear, and I've said it, that governance and accountability is top on my agenda. And that's why I've talked about uh, the issue. When you talk about commercialization, when you talk about uh, branding, I've said that uh, I will see into it that uh, we bring professionals on board to do some of these jobs. Uh, because uh, uh, you may be the chairman of the president of the federation, but uh, you really don't have all the qualifications you need to run all the departments of all the federation. Just an example, uh, FIFA wants to, actually they've already expanded the Club World Cup, and uh, from uh, 2021 it, it, should be, it should be going to China. And uh, uh, if you listen to Gianni Infantino just the other day, he, he, he wants one billion shillings so that to actualize this dream. And he has appointed a, a reputable firm from the US to go and do the job for them. So uh, to me, there uh, it may be assumed, uh, like before, that uh, uh, 
uh, uh, football is the go-to platform for all the corporates who want to uh, really put their, na their names out there. But uh, it's, it's not like that. Uh, football has to compete with so many other things like uh, artists, individuals who've already branded themselves and they're attracting corporate support. So uh, we also must do a lot to, to, to really uh, be at a level whereby you can compete with, with the others, uh, other sectors uh, for for. for uh, for for funding, we have rugby there. They are doing very well at athletics. So if you just sit back and assume that, uh, uh, so long as there's a change of leadership at the helm, then uh, corporates will just uh, run and, and 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 come on board. I think that will be a dangerous assumption, uh, and that's why even up to now, uh, since uh, we uh, super sport pulled out of our market, uh, to up to today, KPL has has, has not been able to, uh, to to attract. But there was an assumption that. Uh, uh, companies will be just falling over themselves to come and pick up the uh, the, the league and, and broadcast it. And that's uh, it has shown us that we need to do more in terms of marketing and branding and uh, positioning our our, our our properties, like the Kenya Premier League, the women's team, the Arambesa, so that they can uh, uh, get the, the support they need from the corporate world. You've been a serious critic of, you know, Sam Nyamwea, the former president, and on your Facebook page, actually on your uh, social media pages across, you indicated that part of the reason as to why you decided you'll contest is, you know, the return of Nyamwea, whom you believe, ruined Kenyan football and therapy is not supposed to be closely associated with Kenyan soccer. How do you rate uh -huh. the current regime? Uh, Nick, uh, to, to, to rate uh, performance of Nick, you really need to put a lot of things into context uh, because uh, when he was coming on board, uh, it was at that time, I think it was uh, the lowest moment in, in, our, in, our, in our history, in, in the history of Kenyan football because uh, he treated a point that uh, uh, actually at that particular point, we, we almost low, uh, missed a trip to uh, to Cape Verde for a return match uh, uh, against Cape Verde in the, in, the, in the I think it was the 2018 World Cup fire. We almost missed a, a return a return match there because of a terrible terrible logistics in the, around around the Rambesas and everything. And even when the team left here, everybody was just uh, praying for them because the the, 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 the flight they took it was. It was it was I don't know. It was like a matatu. So everybody was just uh, praying. So I think uh, to rate uh, uh, Nick's uh, uh, tenure, you really have to to to, to tie it somehow to whatever uh, uh, Nyamwea le left behind. Because uh, uh, I think the federation back then was simply in the pockets of Nyamwea. We didn't have an institution called the federation. Where were the offices? They were not there. So I think uh, Nick uh, spent like the last four 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 years trying just to. To do the basic thing, so it's really hard to, to 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 judge when you do what you should be expected to be doing. People really don't see that maybe you are doing a lot because when when you talk of uh, uh, improving on the logistics of, of the national team, I think that's something that nobody should question. Like who, who, who cares how 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 for example uh, England will go to travel to another country to play football, say Germany. Those I think that should be automatic. But uh, because we are coming from an era whereby such basic things were, were done in a very shambolic way, uh, we, 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 are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are here and we need, like for some, so somebody like me who, who wants to come in there, then I, I'm now talking about, can I build on whatever uh, they've tried to put in place? And, and I think that's what I, I want to do. I want to build on whatever those guys have been trying to put in place because there are a lot of things that needs to be done. Seth Moutier, are you still with us, gentlemen? Yeah. Right now, I want to uh, be uh, elected the FKF president. My brother yes. Osano also wants to be elected. We already know that Amrushe is supposed to be paid. We already know there are many other debts that FKF is owed. Now, for example, if I'm given that seat or Osano is given that seat, Will we now start complaining and say we have inherited so much mess? No, it's up to us. We already know what we are going into. I know Amrusha must be paid. I know Arambe stars, many bonuses and allowances have not been paid. It is my duty as the president at that time when I will sit on that chair to find out or to know where I will get that money.
or to pay the bonuses and to clear up any other mess that is there. I gave a perfect example of uh, Mr. Peter Kenan, Moshimiwa. He inherited so much uh, negatives, but he did not sit and say, I've inherited so many problems, so much problems, I need time. No, he sorted out everything and he left FKF at a place whereby no one else who has ever uh, run FKF or at that time it was KFF that had ever performed so. So I'm telling my brother Osano and uh, all the other people who want to be given that seat of FKF, we know what we are going into when we get that seat. Please, let us not complain that, uh, oh, that Amrush money, Nikumwanda should pay. That other bonuses, Nyamoya should pay. No, it will be up to us to take care of that. And uh, when it comes to government, yes, government supports. The Ministry of Sports supports. But uh, the problem that I have uh, with FKF is when uh, the government is giving out money, they say it's okay, it's not government interference. But when the government now asks for the accounts to be audited, they ask for transparency. Where did this shilling go? Where did this coin go? Then they are being told it's government interference, and somebody runs very quickly to FIFA to say that government is interfering. That is double standards. Under my watch, I will work very well with the government, and I will work very well with FIFA and all the stakeholders. Thank you very much. Missions from two gentlemen speaking exclusively to us via Zoom. Of course, we shall be getting to them. That's part one interview with the duo Sefu Mutie, former Kenyan international, and Bonfas Osano, who is African football writer, talking to us about their mandate, their manifesto, their bid, as far as contesting for Football Kenya Federation president is concerned. Let's take a short break. We will be back shortly. <laughs>